here today to uh, talk about uh, working with the Benny Lynch uh, group on a dis travelling display that's going to go around the city, uh, hopefully starting around about April and going into Gorbel's library for six months. The way these things come around generally is uh, we would uh, get in touch with a community group who perhaps have the, an idea of a project in mind and they don't have either the resources or the facilities to actually be able to make that happen. So being the museum, we can uh, provide them with advice, uh, access to museum collections, obviously we're being in, in the museum, and also uh, you know, technical skills in terms of building something like this, which would be you know, a travelling display. In terms of the actual Benny group, uh, I, I heard about their campaign through social media and uh, wanted to get involved with them because uh, my grandfather actually sparred with Benny Lynch, so I have a personal connection with Benny there. So uh, I contacted them to uh, see if they would like to, to uh, create a travelling display for Benny Lynch. And I looked in the collection and we found uh, I found the World Championship trophy and that became the sort of basis of building a display for Benny and this is where we are now. We're involved now with trying to raise a statue for Benny Lynch and also there's a small display going to be displayed in the Gobbles Library in April with these magnificent trophies of Benny's and they've not been together for we reckon 70 years at least or more. Through all his hard work and fights, sometimes two a week in that era when you were starting out, Benny got to fight for the World Championship and down in Manchester against Jackie Brown and Benny took a huge support there. But believe it or not, in that era, some people actually walked from Glasgow to Manchester over 200 miles, which would take them over, over a week. So that's how much Benny was loved at that point. And Benny not only won it, he actually destroyed Jackie Brown in two rounds. He was down at least eight times in the two rounds. And Benny Lynch became the world champion. My involvement of this, in this project is basically uh, as a link to the family in Canada. Benny's son and granddaughter have asked for me to be involved. Um, I'm related to them and they are very, very encouraged by all the hard work that everybody's doing. You've got to understand he was a boxer at the time where there was a Great Depression. It was in between two world wars and he came from the Gorbals, which was an area of very, very deep poverty. So for Benny to achieve what he did, to win these world titles was actually pretty outstanding. Even now, you know, people of my age who were not around at that time, if you mention Benny Lynch, they will maybe have stories that have been passed down from grandparents or um, great grandparents about, you know, Benny Lynch used to, you go here, or I used to know Benny Lynch there, or my grandfather sparred with him. So he's kind of went down in history, if you like, um, as this real, really important um, sporting figure and I think it's only fitting that the city commemorates them appropriately.